Welcome back guys, Paul Alto Firewall online training session four. Uh, today's session we are going to see how to check the uh, firewall configuration preview changes, validate commit, and how we will we audit the configuration. And after that, how you will we take the uh, config log and commit log. Okay, so now let me access my Paul Alto Firewall. So guys here in the device tab to uh, check the preview changes. What we have, we have to make some modification and we have to uh, add something here. So guys, uh, for to add something new, um, I have here test user. Let me delete, uh, sorry, this test object for IP address. Let me delete this, okay? And in the service section, I'm going to add one more service object here. This one is for service. DNS, okay, uh, UDP 53. So this one is the new addition for deletion. Uh, we have delete that object. Now after that, I want to see what what changes I have done on this firewall. For that, uh, sorry, for that you have to click on this commit tab. And after that, preview changes. Okay, select here, uh, contact, and okay. Now, guys, you can see here, whatever the new addition, that one will be show in the green color, modification in the uh, yellow color, and deletion in the red color. And this one is your running configuration and candidate configuration. Means whatever you had, make the changes on your firewall. So that thing you can see here in the candidate configuration. So now you can see here guys in the service of uh, section, we have modify the object. Okay, so guys, this one is showing uh, modification in the object tab. Okay, so now guys here uh, for network. So I have to add something here uh, new in this. So guys, let me do one thing. I will be add here my DNS IP address. What is the, for that to define your DNS, you have to add here, you're in the service tab, add it. And uh, DNS is the 4.2.2.2. Okay. So now let me show you again, preview changes. So now you can see whatever the new addition that one will be show in the green color. Okay, whatever you are going to delete that one will be show in the uh, your red color. So this one is the guys how you will be check the your preview changes. And after that guys, we are talking about the validate. So suppose that whatever configuration you have done on your firewall that one is right or not. For that you have to click here in the validate commit means you are going to check whatever configuration you have done on your firewall that one will be work or not okay oh successful validation completed okay so in this way you can validate your configuration and after that guys Suppose that if you have multiple user and everyone user is uh, going to make some changes on your uh, firewall, suppose that right now I have this admin user. Okay, he is making some changes on your firewall and same time another engineer, he is trying to work on firewall. So in that case, how you can avoid that overwrite and some changes? For that, you have to click on this log symbol. So here guys, you have to click here, take log. Which type lock you want to take? We have two type of one is commit and one is config. So first of all, to avoid the override configuration, we have to take this con, uh, config lock. Okay, close and let me log out from here. I will be logging with the new user by G F N G O and uh, password is ASDF at one two three four. Let me log in.
okay so you can see um, i'm logged in with the uh, ygf ngo user okay so guys this one is uh, our user okay you can see this one is showing log if you click on this log so you can see here administrator have acquire a log with the contribution so guys now see what happened if someone acquired this log okay let me add here one more user test user password asdf at the rate one two three four asdf at the rate one two three four okay see guys configuration is logged by admin means only administrator can do configuration right now another user they cannot make the configuration on your device okay so guys now let me log out okay and let me log in with the admin user okay now next we will be take the commit log okay is now we we are logged in with the admin user and now let me remove this lock okay guys if any other user have a super user permission so they can also remove this lock okay so let me show you let me take the same lock again okay here in the comment you can mention your time how long you will be um, uh, working with this lock okay now i will be remove this lock from this uh, this user oh guys g f n g o okay this okay so finally i logged in actually i forget the password so guys now we will we see here how to remove this lock okay now from this side we will be take a commit lock okay so let me go back in device okay so right now you can see i'm not able to create a user so first of all what i have to do i have to remove this lock so this user can remove this lock because this user have super user permission so super user can remove any one lock okay so let me add one more user here test 10 password is as per our policy okay done but guys few confusion is uh, made by admin user few confusion is made by this test user okay and i want take con commit log i want uh, uh, no one can make this uh, confusion commit on your firewall so you are going to take this commit log okay close and after that i will be log out and log in with the admin user then administrator user will be commit this configuration okay during the commit guys there are a lot of thing we have to check all the all that option okay so now you can see uh, right now we are getting here commit lock so let me try to commit so guys now you can see here for commit doing a commit will 
override the running configuration with the commit scope okay so guys uh, here we have to check well uh, check validation okay and also preview changes we will get same output whatever the new modif new addition modification and deletion in your configuration so you, you can check all those things we are able to check and guys after that you are going to commit all changes or you want to commit for some specific user which one user configuration you want to commit it's depend on up to you you want to commit both user so you have to select both admin and uh, your yfngo okay so you will be get both okay if you want to commit only one so in that case you have to select that user which one user configuration you want to commit suppose that this admin user want to commit yfngo configuration let me try now you can see the another administrator are holding device uh, device wide commit lock so what i have to do i have to remove this lock select this remove okay and commit for all user commit done so guys this one is your uh, preview changes validate commit and uh, still guys uh, one thing is uh, here that one is the uh, config audit okay suppose that you if you want to audit your configuration so i will show you till that let me close this tab so if uh, you close this tab so you can check this tab again here your job done, job is done or not okay uh, wait close task okay here you will see you can see here your commit is done okay now if you want to audit your configuration for that you have to click here in this device config audit so this side you have to select which one commit you want to see i want to see this fourth commit with the which one configuration running configuration which one is presently i'm working on your firewall okay so you can see guys in fourth commit we didn't have all these user we didn't have ygf and joe we didn't have user two okay after that guys this one is the admin role we didn't have this thing and this one is the modification time zone we modify this thing and ip address we uh, change from 100.22 to 100.21 so this one is the difference this one is the uh, new configuration okay so guys this one is the audit point of view if you want to audit your configuration you are running configuration with any or previous commit configuration so you can check with this okay so guys now in the next lecture we will be see for auto configuration type here we have two type of configuration running and candidate configuration we will be see in the next lecture okay and after that we will be start the uh, object configuration ip address object service object we will be start with this okay till that guys uh, we'll see you in the next video if you think i have to uh, add someone uh, another topic in this so you can put in comment section then i will be make video on that also okay guys see you take care bye